Hey, what's up? This week we're here in Sanford. There's a there's a greenhouse behind me. It's pretty beautiful. Bo showed us where it is. We're going to take a few photos of it. Uh, walk around the place. I'm going to be shooting Portrait 400 on a Mamiya 645. Um, some portraits, some landscapes, some land portraits. So let's just let's just do it. Let's go. Come on. I'm going to start the day by loading some film. See what happens. So first shot, mountains. Uh, this is kind of, that's the establishing shot, that's where we are. Going inside. It's prime in here. If Jordan, you want to stand like, Right there is good. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, look at me is perfect. And one, two, three. Nice one. Let's take one more portrait, a closer one. Back, back, and face, maybe face me this way. Come forwards, stop. Three. Two, one. Six. So far, I love this place. It's my favorite place. Is there really? Good. Um, I saw this photo the other day of two power lines in the distance and someone in close, and they, they were like completely blurry, but the power lines were in focus. I want to kind of replicate that, but with a picture of both. Um, so I'm going to do that now with this background. Um, again, to continue my feet photos, I'm going to get a photo of Jordan's shoes because look at them, they're amazing. Yep, crisp, clean. What I like about this place is that the light inside all the buildings inside is really even and even at this like once the sun has gone down below like in the clouds and below the mountains when it does um, the light's still going to be pretty nice I think because everything's kind of bright um, and everything reflects onto people's faces really nicely. Um, it's also like an abandoned place so shooting that on film is always fun. Um, what I'm going to do next I'm gonna try and get some close-ups, some like just kind of whack, abstracty looking photos. Um, so I'll spend the next few shots doing that, and I'll be back. Sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Unloading the roll. Roll one's done. Are you ready for this sound? Ah! Welcome to Flavor Town. Destination Cancer. I forgot to flush. I took a shot through all these glass windows because, and because it's all glass and it's all so dirty, it kind of looks like foggy or misty. It gives off that kind of vibe. So I just took a shot through the whole thing and made sure that the background is blurry so it intensifies that effect. Um, we've got light coming in from the side. It's going to look sick. 
I'm nearly dying. Um, out of real life and out of film life, I would say real life is better. Um, but if you live a life filled with film, then it's even better. Thank you. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, yep, this is a photography video. Up. Finished both rolls. That was a pretty awesome afternoon, chilling with the boys, taking shots. Let's unload, let's unload the roll. If you don't, if you don't wind it like 16 times, then it doesn't actually work. Kodak 420. Photos I'm excited for. There's a photo of a bird up there. Um, I don't remember the rest of the photos. Um, let's have a look at them back. <laughs> let's have a look at them back on the computer and I'll talk about them as I always do. Let's do it. Okay, so the first photo, pretty much the best one of the whole day. Um, I love how it looks kind of infinitely layered. Just the afternoon light on those windows kind of looks ridiculous. It's great that even the fan on the top right there is pointing towards Jordan. Um, I think that looks really awesome. There's so many other leading lines and just to have like an actual object pointing towards him is just the icing on the cake. To me, it feels a little bit like an angry photo and I love how it's simultaneously dirty and clean at the same time. Like the framing is really clean, but everything, all the textures look really dirty. This one of out of focus bow is awesome as well. Um, the black lines across the frame are super interesting and super strong. Uh, I love that the section of the photo that is in focus is kind of softened by the dirty glass in front of it. And again, just such great textures in here. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing looking place. This other one of bow is kind of funny. Like that's what bow, like, you know, that's classic bow, he's a funny guy. This next one is wild. That plant there kind of feels and looks like a spider web. Uh, and there's so much depth because of the contrast between the orange and highlights and the blue shadows. And there's so much to look at that it all feels kind of foreign and alien to me, at least. Not something I've really seen before, even though it's such a simple scene. And this bird one here is just a classic frame. I love taking photos of birds just because it's kind of a challenge to get them in the right spot and in the right position because they're really fast and they're always like flying around doing their own thing. So you're just gonna catch them at the right time and that's kind of a fun little challenge. All right, so that's the video. Hope you liked it. Follow me on Instagram if you like Instagram and look at my website if you like scrolling through websites. This one was brought to you by Square. I love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like putting a pizza in the oven. Oh, <laughs> 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 exactly. Are you feeling that? Even though you don't care about it. So I put pizza in the oven. I'm not that. Oh, that. Sweet. Sweet. All right. All right. You guys, you guys still want to keep shooting? Just to let you know.